Pink for breast cancer awareness. Yes, Dina Kupfer live in Sacramento where they're starting to wrap the truck. This is so cool. Hi, Dina. <laughs> Yes, wrap as in wrap it up, anchors back in the studio. <laughs> 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 to all of you. Yeah, I love you all, and I was happy to hear that whole conversation. Don't really know what it was about, but this one I do. So we're Neither literally we. talking about wrapping vehicles this morning. We're all used to seeing these big red fire engines up yeah. on the Sacramento city streets and also throughout the county, right? But today we're talking about Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You've seen vehicles wrapped on the freeway. It's literally a big sticker. That is what this material is. And check out what Metro Fire is having done right now. We are here at Vehicle Wraps Incorporated in Sacramento. They are putting the finishing touches on the actual vehicle getting wrapped for breast cancer awareness and all cancers because that is a really important cause that they want to make sure that they are also contributing to this month and also in November. So I have Captain Chris Bestel with Sac Metro Fire joining us this morning. Hello, friend. Hello, how are you? Doing great. Okay, so it's not just the pink side, there's also a blue side. So tell me why you guys are doing this this year again. As always, cancer is a problem that affects all people. So we want to make sure that we promote some awareness for the 270,000 women, the 3,000 men that are anticipated to get breast cancer in 2019, but also men's health is something suicide prevention, PTSD, and firefighters, and just the community at large. Yeah. So all these facts are something that we want to bring awareness to and trying to do some fundraising, and that's what we'll be doing in October and November. Yeah, so as you're riding around in the city streets, you will see a lot of vehicles actually wrapped with this. But if you see on the other side, so this is still very much in the works. This is the process of how it's made. I am fascinated by this. So right now, they're actually working to put the these stickers that have been pre-designed. There's a whole computer system they use. They go through literally inch by inch and flatten the sticker down, and they have to go through a very intricate process here. So we have Joe Melendez, who is with uh, Vehicle Wraps Incorporated, and tell me what he's doing right now. So basically what he's doing right now is he's heating up the vinyl. What that allows it to do is be more malleable and uh, be able to be tucked into the smaller cracks and crevices and then trimmed. Uh, later to give the appearance of it being completely wrapped. Yeah. And it looks like paint at that point. It does look like paint. And the cool thing about this, too, is it protects the paint while it's on. So I know it's a Absolutely. big sticker, but it's not going to like rip the paint off when it's done. But sure. tell me about how intricate this is because you have to make sure this fire engine is still yeah. operational as well. Right. So you'll see from this door here that you've got many different slats that need to be trimmed out each individually to make sure that the not only is the door operational, uh, but it also still gives the uh, aesthetic appearance of being. Painted yeah. or wrapped. Yeah, it is so cool. I love this. I was actually uh, talking to Chris Vestal. He said, yeah, the truck's going to be done. You should come see it when it's already wrapped. I said, no, I want to see the whole process. So coming up in the next half hour, we're going to take you through this entire building and show you how it works. They go from computers, designers, big, big, big stickers, and then they cut it down in a really cool room that's like an exacto knife stream. Then it ends up on the trucks that you see behind me here. So coming up in the next half hour, we're going to have much more. Sac Metro Fire, thanks again for letting us come out. And remember, all cancers between now and November, and really all of us have been impacted by this. You're going to see this fire engine out there on the roads supporting that cause, guys. Back I to love you. exacto knife stream. Yeah, yes. That's, that's a good line. That's a good yeah, line. Cool. Write that down. Thanks, we can Dina. use that again sometime. <laughs> uh, today is uh, National 